You're back here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. Mm. We just did up this really beautiful, um, kind of like protection of love, restoration of passion jar for my husband and I. Um, and I wanted to say that this doesn't have to be for a husband and wife. You can use this in any circumstance. Let's think of other ways that you could do it. You could, if you want to attract a lover, now I never suggest doing a love spell, but I would suggest doing an attraction spell because love spells can go wrong pretty easily. If that person, if your spell just was too strong or it just worked, it, they work different on every person. So if you did a spell and it was, like you could potentially get a stalker out of it. Let's say that you're just super attracted to somebody and you didn't know much about them, but you, you're, you're like infatuated with them. So you decide to do a love spell to bring them to you. What if once you bring them to you, you figure out that they're not the person you wanted, but there's a love spell on them? This could be potentially very dangerous territory. Whereas an attraction spell, and plus you've hijacked that person's mind. An attraction spell just gets that person to definitely look at you, you know? And then you can find out the outcome from there. But you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that's mind is hijacked, you know? They're not a person at that point. They're like under a spell. So I also want to say that it's a normal thing for this candle to crackle as it's going down because when fire touches oil it does crackle. But just find something to anoint your candle with and just let that oil drip down it and um, really get that passion oil. And you can either look through my videos to find that or hopefully by the time you're watching this I have it attached. My main goal is to put out content. I figure if you have the time to watch these, hopefully you have time to find the videos if I haven't had time to get them attached. But I try to get out content as quick as I can, you know, for y'all, for myself. To get more people interested and excited about witchcraft, you know. <clears throat> so, I can use this applewood wand to, wand, wand to charge it. I could use this gift that's a crystal quartz wand um, from Yoni Grayson. If you know who she is, then you'll know what this is. <laughs> but all of that would just like, really help restore the love, the energy, and the, pa the energy, the passion. You know, this fire you can hold your hands around. Charge these things, charge yourself. Throw that back into the jar. You know, you, this your energy sure will go through that jar and penetrate it, I believe. If I can see through the jar, I can get my energy through it, you know? Just holding on to something. And I believe just looking at something intently enough, you can get your energy into it. So stay here with this while the candle burns down fully. If you have herbs like I do surrounding the top of the candle, make sure that you're watching the candle when it gets down low. Um, that you don't have any dry herbs right around the flame. But if they burn into the wax, I really like that. Um, you know, so up here I have some sage, some brown eggshells, and I'm just gonna kind of push them into where the wax will burn down. And uh, I have the cinnamon stick I use for anointing. So, and I'm probably gonna pour some of this on the top because I'm feeling that. Okay, so if you just popped into this video and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, look back on my last video. But if you need a quick bit of advice on this spell but catered to you, let me know. And um, I always give my first bit of personal advice for absolute free um, with details, but after that I do have to 
ask for a fee because I like to put out as many videos as I can, which at this point in my life I'm not gaining any money from. And uh, it is a full-time job, you guys, to put out, you know, four to ten videos a day is a full-time job. And I have a job. Or two. But this is my passion. No pun intended. This is my love. And that's you guys, so... Hmm, come back and join me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, for all the upcoming things that we have to do. Let me try and give you a closer view. Oh, these are my wedding heels that I have here while I'm kind of charging up the spell. You could turn on your song that you guys had together. If you're trying to get back a lost love, you could put in some love notes from the person. You and you're, you're pining after them anyway, right? Just sit there and put your pine and your love into that jar. But I'm really excited to help some of you guys personally with what you need. And if I had the energy and I was a rich person, I would do it all completely for free. But I don't. So I try and I'm going to keep trying my best. I love you guys, and I love this YouTube family, and I love what we're doing here with all of my heart and all of my being. So come back and join me at Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we're just going to have so many really rad adventures together, you guys. All my love.